Hi, I'm Dawn Wallace. I'm an object conservator here at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History, and I had the privilege of working on the Ruby Slipper Project. The most memorable part of working on this project was being able to look at every sequin and every bead under the microscope. It seems a little tedious, but I find that when you see something under a microscope, you can really start seeing the evidence of its use. Every sequin is different, every bead is different. You can also see the stitching. Everything was hand stitched on the bows, on the shoes and the sequins. So you can see that really human touch. Now the shoes are 80 years old actually this year and they have a lot of wear from being danced and worn during the filming. The Smithsonian's pair of shoes are very special in that we have orange felt on the bottom. And this felt would have been used in dancing and walking scenes so that you wouldn't have the echo on the yellow brick road in the plywood sets. So a lot of our conservation work was addressing the structural stability of the shoes themselves and the various sequins and beads that adorn them. So the sequins are aligned in biased rows that go around the shoe and it makes this really nice sleek appearance. So what we did is sequin by sequin, we would look at them clean off surface dirt using a small plastic pipette attached to a vacuum cleaner and a soft brush. Now once the sequin was clean, we would look at the thread. Was it strong enough? Was it in threat of breaking? And if needed to, we would stabilize and strengthen the thread. The sec other thing we would do is that the sequins, if they had been flipped or misaligned, we would then use tweezers covered in Teflon tape to put them back into that proper alignment. We did not add any sequins, we did not repaint any segments or add any beads back. The shoes are 80 years old and we really want to retain that history of their use. Will you miss them? <laughs> I am very much going to miss having the shoes in the lab. I enjoy looking at them under the microscope, being able to pull them out of their box. Um, it's going to be really hard to let them go, but I'm also really excited to share them with everyone else, to put them back on display so that the public can enjoy them as I have during this project. And none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for the Kickstarter project and backers like you.